Greetings to you all. My name is Dr. Kezi Mkwizu from the Open University of Tanzania in Tanzania. And I'm presenting a paper titled Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality in the Post-COVID-19 Tourism. Welcome to my presentation. The presentation starts with the introduction. Post-COVID-19 era is characterized with nations opening their tourism activities and engaging in tourism recovery programs to attract tourists to destinations. Globally, tourism is recovering. The United Nations World Tourism Organization stated that 81% of tourism professionals and 48% of tourism experts see potential return of international tourist arrivals to 2019 levels in 2023. Equally, technology advances can shape how tourists experience tourism and how promotion of different types of tourism are possible during the COVID-19 pandemic and in the post-COVID-19. Liang and Elliot 2020 noted that advanced technologies such as augmented reality and virtual reality have the ability to interact with tourists, while Vema Itala 2022 noted that augmented reality has gained traction. Makapolos Itala 2021 emphasized that other African countries should follow the example of digital transformation in cultural and heritage using augmented reality and virtual reality that is being done in Egypt. Based on Makapolos Itala 2021 outlook on augmented reality and virtual reality for the African continent, this paper explored augmented reality and virtual reality in the post-COVID-19 tourism, specifically exploring the use of augmented reality and virtual reality in the post-COVID-19 tourism in the context of Africa. The following section is about, about augmented reality and virtual reality. In tourism, augmented reality and virtual reality differ because virtual reality is based on the virtual environment that is created using a computer, whereas augmented reality enables the users to interact with the real environment, according to Lian and Elliot 2020 and Newhofer Hitler 2014. Hence, according to Newhofer Italy 2014, augmented reality can be used to enhance co-creation instead of replacing the visitor's experience, while in Quizu Italy 2021 hinted on using augmented reality in nature-based tourism destinations, particularly in national parks. The key concepts in this paper are augmented reality and virtual reality. And in this table, the definitions are provided from various scholars, but also the definition according to this paper. On augmented reality, for example, Kramer Hitler 2020 defined augmented reality as the type of immersive technology with the ability to combine physical and virtual worlds in real time in an interactive 3D manner and consequently to provide a sense of user immersion. And virtual reality has been defined by Talufobile Italy 2020 21, as a technology that uses computers and other hardware devices to stimulate the three-dimensional world. And according to this paper, the definition of augmented reality has been adapted from Kramer Italy 2020, and the definition for virtual reality has been adapted from Talifobike Italy 2021. In terms of the methodology, this paper used a literature review research method and specifically the integrated literature review approach. An integrative literature review method was adopted to review literature related to augmented reality and virtual reality 
in tourism within Africa. Considerations were made on selecting mainly articles from journals which are reliable due to undergoing peer review process, as well as the inclusion and exclusion criteria. The findings and discussion section shows that augmented and virtual reality were used in Africa during the COVID-19 tourism in countries such as Egypt, Tunisia and South Africa. However, the use of augmented reality and virtual reality in tourism for the rest of Africa is minimal. Marco Polo's Italy 2021 advocated for other African countries to follow the example of Egypt in cultural digital transformation with augmented reality and virtual reality. Augmented and virtual reality usage in the post-COVID-19 tourism is particularly in cultural tourism heritage tourism, sports tourism, for example, deep sea diving tours, nature-based tourism, for example, game drive virtual tours, and museum tourism. This paper's conclusion is that augmented and virtual reality in the post-COVID-19 tourism are used in African countries like Egypt, Tunisia, and South Africa, but it is of minimum usage for the rest of the continent. The outcome of this paper has a practical implication to guide tourism stakeholders to integrate augmented reality and virtual reality as advanced technologies in tourism activities to improve tourist experiences when visiting tourist attractions. Future researchers may conduct actual data collection using mixed methods of quantitative and qualitative to further explore the patterns in the use and application of augmented reality and virtual reality in the tourism sector of Africa. These are some of the references that have been used to compile the paper that has been presented to you titled Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality in the Post-COVID-19 Tourism. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. And I would like to take this opportunity to also thank Haran University, the sponsors and the organizing committee for this opportunity to present my paper in the fourth International Conference on Virtual Reality 2022.